Hello, this is LJ Bothell, and this is a short file on Microsoft Excel working with columns and rows. It'll work regardless of the operating system you're working on, even though this video is being done in Microsoft Windows. We're going to work on the same file we finished up in another video on. With this one, the focus is on dealing with columns and rows in order to get a feel for different things you can do with them. Um, we've touched on widening columns and rows before, but we're going to count that in here too, as well as some other things you can do. So sometimes you get a column that isn't wide enough, and there's ways you can make it wider by selecting the column, getting the double arrowed kind of crosshair here, and dragging the column to a width that you think is more comfortable, or double clicking that. Or you can right click on the column, choose a column width, and make it, you know, um, make it narrower. Oops, that's too narrow. So I'm going to come back up here and double click it and get like that. You can do the same thing with rows here. This row tends to be a little bit too thin and this row is normal. So what I want to do is look at the normal row, check the row height, which is 19.25. Then I can come over here, grab this row, right click, row height, and type in 19.25. 25. Do the same there. I can also select the row, get this crosshairs with the double arrows that are now pointed up and down, double click, and there we go. So we know about widening and narrowing columns, but what if you want to hide a column? You don't want to see something, but you don't want to delete it and lose the data. So if you say wanted to see only the person's last name, you can select the column with the first name on it, and you can hide the column. You can do that easily by selecting the column and right clicking and then choosing a hide. And then you can always use the control Z to undo it, or you can select the spreadsheet and hover as close to where the column should be and unhide it. And there we go. Same thing with rows. I may want to hide these rows for whatever reason. So I'm going to just go ahead and hide them. And I can only tell that they're hidden because I see this that it goes 4, 5, 6, 11, and then there's this little tiny double area between the columns here that indicates that there's probably something hidden. So the easiest thing to do is to select the column above and the column below, right click and unhide, and that's how you can do that. Now we could delete columns easily. So say I want to delete this, I can right click on it, I can delete the column, and if I want the column back, I can use Control Z. And if I want to delete rows, I could select one or several. Then I could come here and do the same thing. I can right click and delete, or I can use the Home tab cells area, come to delete, and I could delete sheet rows, or I could delete cells. Well, in this case, if I delete rows, they're gone altogether, and I don't want to do that. So again, Control Z. Or I might come in here and just say, I want to delete these cells, but I want to keep the actual rows because there may be some other things to the side here. Because like what happened here? When I did this, let's go back again. We will delete the columns. So notice we have underline, cell color, text color, merge center, border, alignment. And if I delete the sheet rows, those instructions go away. See what happened? That's why we don't always want to, to delete the whole cells. So control Z and then select the cells you want to delete like this and then come up to delete, delete cells. Now you can shift cells or you can um, do, let's, let's do the shift cell. We don't want to delete, we don't want to shift cells left because we don't want this stuff moving over. But what we want to do is maybe shift these cells up. So let's do that. Did that work? Yes, it did. <laughs> it happened so fast. So let's, I just undid it. So let's do the same thing again. So right now we're getting rid of Kaylee, Karinya, Shay, and Uba. We're going to come here and delete cells. We're going to shift the cells up, which means Seth will move up to seven. And there we go. Oh, nope. I clicked the wrong thing. See what happens when I, you actually get rid of the, the incorrect thing. We'll try again. Delete, delete cells. Shift cells up. I apparently had not clicked here and it just shifted those cells left. And there we go. See? 
So it's easy to delete and undelete columns. Again, you can undelete by using Control Z or undo. So here is, of course, your um, main um, user interface bar, and you have this icon up here that's undo delete. That's the Control Z I've been doing. So you could delete and undelete cells. You can hide and unhide cells. You can widen and narrow um, columns. You can also, um, you know, do a mass of them at one time. So say I came down here and I looked at these, said I'd like them to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to right click, row height. They are currently, we don't know. I'm going to make them 15 high. Ooh, that's not enough. Easy pie to fix. We'll make them 24 high. Sometimes you're eyeballing things when you're in a workplace or you're looking at something someone else has done. But it's very easy to do this sort of thing. So I believe that should cover row manipulation. At this. Oh, one more thing we want to do. What if we actually wanted to move something? You basically have to cut and then paste the cut um, um, column somewhere else. We're going to do a whole column here first. So we're going to cut this column. You can't do that in a merge cell. You're absolutely right. We can't do that here because these cells are merged and it can't take part of it out. So what I'm going to do to make this possible is I'm going to come up into the Home tab, Merge and Center, and I'm going to unmerge the cells. Now this can be treated as a single cell by itself. So I can select the whole column. I can cut the column. And then what I want to do is I want to paste the column before Salary and after Cities. So I'm going to select the Salary column, right-click, and Insert Cut Cells. You can see what happened? That's great. Now the difficulty here is that maybe I want to put something else here and I still want to keep the count. So I might grab this information and I want to cut this information, but I'm not doing the whole column, I'm just doing the cells. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste the information. Well now this is empty, but it's easy to add new information here. So I might want to say state, state. And interestingly, it went and it added the styling of the two cells around it. And then I might say that, you know, I don't remember where Arlington Heights is. But I'll just say WA and Shreveport, I believe, is in LA. Then I could go down here. And as I type things in, it's, Excel is trying to mimic what it's seeing around it. So it's making these as um, size 14 and such. Now, the only difference here is that for some reason, this particular bottom bar is gone, so I can just go ahead and use my Format Painter, paint that over, and there we go. But anyway, so I think now we've covered your basic column and row movement, hiding, unhiding, copying, un and pasting, deleting, and undeleting. I think that should cover it. Hope this was helpful for you.